Good morning, everybody. The big day has finally arrived. The University of Illinois volleyball team will be playing in their first Final Four matchup in 23 years. The team practiced at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio on Wednesday in preparation for their matchup against the University of Southern California. With Illinois just two wins away from a national title, a few of the Illini have been nationally recognized for their performance on the court. Senior outside hitter Colleen Ward has been named a first team All-American by the American Volleyball Coaches Association. Teammate Michelle Barch garnered third team honors. Ward is just the fifth player in school history to be named a first team All-American. But even with all of the accolades and distractions, the Illini, they're focused on one common goal. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's kind of a show ever since we got here. You know, we got to the hotel and we had a mariachi band waiting for us. But there's a lot of stuff going on and it's really cool. Um, but we're excited to play tomorrow. That's why we're here. They're, they got a they got a great team. They were number one. Our coaches voted number one. I'm one of the coaches that votes. I voted them number one. Uh, I think they're the best team going into the tournament. And, uh, you know, we got our, our, our work cut out for us. Now in football news, over the last two seasons, Vic Koning has become a staple for the Illini defense. But Koning's tenure in Illinois, it won't last for a third year. Koning announced on Wednesday that he will not be joining Coach Tim Beckman's staff at Illinois. Koning turned down Beckman's offer to be his defensive coordinator for the Illini, and according to reports, he is likely to accept a job as the defensive coordinator under Larry Fedora at the University of North Carolina. Now, Koning will remain at Illinois to coach the Fighting Illini in the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl on December 31st in San Francisco. In two seasons as the Illini's defensive coordinator, Koning turned a unit ranked 91st in the country into the seventh ranked defense in college football. And while Koning departs, defensive line coach Keith Gilmore will be retained as a member of Beckman's staff. Now in a statement released Wednesday afternoon, Koning said, inevitably when a head coaching change occurs, there are many emotions to deal with. And in this situation with the bowl game, it is especially not cut and dry. I was very honored to be considered by Coach Beckman to remain at Illinois. After a great deal of prayer and discussion with my family, I feel it is best to explore other opportunities. Koning went on to praise players and coaches he has worked with over the last two seasons and thank the Illini Nation for their continued support. Well, another day, another award for Illini defensive end Whitney Merciless. Merciless has been named to the Associated Press's All-American First Team. Merciless becomes the first All-American from Illinois since offensive lineman Martin O'Donnell in 2007. He's the first defensive player to earn First Team AP honors since linebacker Kevin Hardy in 1995. Merciless leads the nation with 14 and a half sacks and nine forced fumbles. Urbana businessman and University of Illinois alum Shad Khan has been unanimously approved by the NFL as the new owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The league voted Wednesday to approve the sale of the Jaguars from Wayne Weaver to Khan for an estimated $760 million. I'd like some of that money. Khan is looking forward to applying his business background to his new football team. Yeah, it is my renewed commitment to the city and really to earn their trust, okay? Uh, and really, you know, to serve them and get engaged. I mean, this is a partnership really with the fans and they have to come and support the team. But, you know, I'm committed obviously to uh, the rebirth, the reinvigoration, doing whatever it takes to put a winner on the field and really make Wayne and rest of the Jackson Williams proud. Khan will take over day-to-day -day operations of the Jaguars on January 4th in the city where he got his first big business break with Toyota. And one final note, with the NBA season just 10 days away, it looks like the Chicago Bulls have finally found their new shooting guard. The team has agreed to a three-year deal with former Detroit Piston Richard Rip Hamilton. That's going to do it for sports. Have a great morning, everybody. Kate, back to you.